What's going on, champs and champettes? It's Fire Monkey here, and welcome back to another YouTube video. In today's video, I'll be talking about the mythic weapons that Epic actually managed to hide from even leakers for the longest time. However, due to the hotfix that changed the primal shotgun and the recycler's stats, we've actually uncovered them due to Epic Games simply making a small mistake. So without further ado, let's start talking about the actual patch to the primal and recycler, and then go into all the information regarding the unreleased weapons. So the Recycler had actually received an environmental damage buff of 66.67%, which basically means instead of doing a maximum of 20 damage to your environment, it would do 60 maximum potential damage to the environment when, you know, sucking it up into the gun. Along with this buff, however, the Primal Shotgun received a damage nerf of 16.67%. Now, obviously, there's a lot of controversy regarding, oh, hey, should the Primal Shotgun even have been nerfed, or should people just learn to adapt with it? I I'm not going to give my own personal opinion about that, but that will be today's common question of the day. What do you think about the primal shotgun changes? Do you think they're justified, or do you think Epic Games should revert the changes because at the end of the day, it's just another weapon in the game? With that said, however, there is something very interesting that was with this hot fix. Not only was there a common and uncommon recycler weapon in the game files, but like they hot fixed it, they updated it as if they existed still. And the thing about this is the uncommon and common rarity recyclers don't actually exist in a viewable format as there's not an actual weapon ID in the game files. Instead, there was the little like data list that has all the information regarding the stats that had these listed in there. However, not only did it have a common and an uncommon rarity, but it had a UR rarity. And for those who don't know, the UR rarity is used for mythic weapons such as the primal shotgun that you could get by eliminating the Spire Assassin. So right away, we could tell that there was a mythic recycler recycler planned at some point that would do three more damage than that of the normal recycler. And my theory of where this recycler would have come from is from Cluck himself. Because if you guys recall, back in the actual trailer for this season, Cluck was the way we found out about the junk gun, also known as the recycler, even existing. Cluck was holding it in the trailer, so it just makes sense that someone such as Cluck would have been a boss that maybe got scrapped during development and turned into just a normal NPC, where you could have got the recycler from. And this is an important thing I I also want to mention, there's a chance that these mythic weapons don't actually release at all this season or in future seasons, however the fact that they exist needs to be documented because who knows, maybe they'll change an NPC halfway through the season. Now as you could probably already tell by the thumbnail, where there, there were two other weapons in there, so that must mean there's two other weapons that have mythic versions of them somewhere in the files, and that is 100% correct. The other two weapons with mythic versions of them is the mechanical explosive bow and the primal rifle. Now both of these, just like the recycler don't actually have a weapon ID in the game files, but because of the fact that they're in the files in some form, some capacity, may mean they come in the future because as we've seen in the past, weapons just randomly show up regarding to NPCs and mythic weapons are technically an NPC weapon even though they're more of NPC bosses. The mythic primal rifle has a damage factor of 38 damage per shot and that is two more than the legendary version of it and it has 0.175 less reach recoil than the legendary primal rifle. But regarding recoil, it's all like arbitrary numbers so that we can't really explain that, oh hey, the gun will have this much less recoil in game, it won't bounce up this much. All we really have is a number value, but in reality, to summarize the primal rifle and the mechanical explosive bow, the recoil number is always lower, meaning that it would bounce around less when you shoot it, and bows in reality don't really have that much recoil as far as I'm aware. But speaking of bows, let's talk about the mechanical explosive bow. The damage is 98 damage per shot, which is four more than the legendary version, just two less from one-shotting someone if you hit them. And not only this, but it had a recoil of 0.25 less than the legendary version of it. Basically, this one would have a drastic recoil change where you could be able to tell, oh hey, this doesn't really bounce around at all. With all the stats out there regarding these mythic weapons, let's mention something. Someone over on Twitter named Jay said the mythic mechanical explosive bow is probably a placeholder for the grapple bow, which they assume is going to be mythic. And I can confirm that this is not actually the case. The grapple bow already has its own identification information in the game files, and it's set to be an exotic, not a mythic, because mythic items are boss drops and exotics are actual weapons that you can usually purchase from an NPC. So to answer that question, no, this isn't a placeholder. While the stats could be, you know, used as a placeholder, 
placeholder. It is not because it's just not related at all with any of the code names or anything. And since I'm actually talking about the exotics, let me quickly rephrase all the information regarding the upcoming exotics. So we have two upcoming exotics that we know of that will be sold by NPCs. We have the unstable bow that will be sold by Rebirth Raven, and then we have the grapple bow that will be sold by Laura Croft. Now we have another weapon that isn't really an exotic, it's the flare gun, and it's set to be sold by Raptor. With all that information out there, it's definitely a lot of speculation. We do have the stats for upcoming weapons that may come out or may just simply be scrapped, but I hope this information was informative and let you scary craft what you think is going to happen in the future of Chapter 2 Season 6 of Fortnite in order to think about will these exotics come out, will these mythics come out, or will they just be completely scrapped. With that said, my name's Fire Monkey. Like, comment, subscribe. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you champs and champettes next time with another upload. Peace out.